Okay, got my brain back in order. So, this is Thunderbolt and Lightning, very, very frightening. Okay, so. Then in the notes we're playing, we're going. Now we drop, okay, finger. Two remains where it is and just drops to the next fret. So we go. It's just like a F sharp. Okay, so. to that in the rock section. So G sharp. And now that how I do this I use finger two uh, finger three even same fret and the A string. Just practice that. Try not to go too fast because otherwise it's a bit stunted. Now, okay, so finger three now on the E flat, and finger two, uh, finger, sorry, yeah, finger two on the A flat. The shape doesn't move. Eleventh fret, twelve, nine, seven, six. So okay, and the next fret is finger one on the A. Sharp, the B string. What I'm doing there, the thumb, where we've got our finger one on the A on the D string, we're lifting that slightly and we're playing the harmonic. So. sharp with finger two so harmonic there on the D and then the harmonic with the B use finger three for, for doing the harmonic so Okay, this is um, six fret, finger one, playing the note an octave up. So this is the A sharp, and we're just going. Uh, okay. Now, okay, we're playing a. Uh, it's like a D chord shape. G up here, we're playing open D. G, D. Okay, so we're going from the D. B 
barring that, I'm playing the F with finger three. Okay, the next part. So we're there with the D. Now what we do, we just move that little finger across to the B. Okay. So it's staying. We bring finger one across to play the G. And we bring finger four across to play the B. to arch here, otherwise you start catching unwanted notes. Play the E with finger one, and do the run down. And now, raise finger four up to the A. Playing an A major. Here, the barring. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go again. Bass chords, anyway. I'm using all my fingers. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Uh, this is from the start of the choral section. playing the A, I'm sliding up to the D, pull up, slide, pull off, play the D, and what we're doing here, we're going and now pretty 
really difficult part of the song. This is this bit here. So we're playing the A throughout. Finger one, barring the seventh fret, sharp, uh, sharp D. Drop. Finger one is now playing the E. Finger two is playing the C sharp. So then back up. And what we're doing there, we're playing the G with finger two and the E with finger three. Practice that. Okay, so just that. Practice this. I put it together. Dead hard because it's quite staccato, you're having to pluck, lift off, pluck, lift off, pluck, lift off. Okay, so we go like this. Back to the D, hitting the bass note once. Again. Now it repeats. Now I'll do that again. Time we got. Oh, it's a time. Okay. Practicing that. T to prevent that D from ringing out when I return to the A, what's happening is when I'm playing that A again, this finger uh, two here is actually touching the D, stopping it from ringing out anymore. So listen, see, it stopped ringing because I moved that finger up against it. The next part, is this. Time we got, yep, 7th fret, A, bar, that chord progression in the next lesson. Um, let me just go over what we've just done then. So from the choral section.
thanks for watching. Good progressing next. Thank you all. Thank you all.